Hello viewers. Welcome to my YouTube channel Vision Polity. I myself, Dr. Pankaj Kumar Sarma, Assistant Professor, Department of Political Science, Kumar Bhaskar Bama Sanskrit and Ancient Studies University. So this is my YouTube channel. Through this YouTube channel, I basically try to uh, re-emphasized, discussed, elaborate different issues relating to political science. But today, my discussions is based on the issues of open educational resources. This is very much significant in present day context because uh, in these days, as a result of this spread of coronavirus and this COVID-19, you know, the whole world gets struck under, you know, this uh, dangerous virus. And, uh, you know, uh, it's a, you know, over the world, it's a kind of tough time for the entire human community. But uh, as I belong to the student of political science, as a part of this political studies, or more specifically beyond that particular limitations, I also belong to the student community. So we all, we all are the learners. So we need to concentrate our continuous teaching learning process get updated with the help of you know available resources through internet because uh, it's a kind of informatic society in the age of globalizations so you should try our level best to use to the optimum level of those all those facilities available in different format so open educational resources is considered to be very much important, very much significant in this particular pandemic situations to get updated, informative, or it will be very much helpful to gain more knowledge even if you are, you know, within your home. So today, I basically would like to highlight how we can able to access different sorts of resources, all those, you know, open resources, educational resources that are available uh, in the internet. So what are open educational resources? The concept of open educational resources describes any educational resources, including curriculum maps, course materials, textbooks, streaming videos, multimedia, applications, and any other materials that have been designed for use in teaching and learning that are openly available for use by the educators and the students. That means this open educational resources are beneficial for both teachers and students. So as a, you know, uh, as a, you know, teaching community, because I teach a particular subjects in a particular institutions, so it is my sole responsibility to you know, uh, enhance those facilities to my beloved students so that they can get access, some amount of benefit with the help of this already available open educational resources, you know, uh, in the internet. This is all in a frame of mind, whether is OER the same as the e-learning. But there's a slight difference between this open educational resources and online learning, or you can say this e-learning. Both are similar, but there is some sort of, you know, uh, there's a slight difference between this e-learning, that means online learning, and this open educational resources. In case of online learning, you know, uh, it's maybe uh, the available, available classes, video classes, audio classes, you know, the materials you can get access. And open education resources is basically, you know, it's considered to be a kind of repositories. 
you know this there are different sorts of OER repositories are there already available resources are there in those repositories so main task is to know how to you know you know uh, collect how to extract those you know information those resources from all those repositories so OER is not synonymous with this online learning or e-learning although you know uh, many people make that kind of mistakes by using uh, these two terms uh, similar as you know online learning or e-learning and this OER but there is something different openly licensed content can be produced in any medium in in case of this OER you know you can uh, produce it in any medium paper-based text video audio or computer-based multimedia a lot of e-learning courses may harness OER but this does not mean that this is necessarily uh, considered to be a kind of e-learning. Indeed, many open resources being produced currently while it is shareable in a digital format and also this is printable. So basically, uh, in, in some developing countries, it would be expected that high percentage of resources, you know, of relevance to this higher education in such countries are shared as printable resources rather than being designed for using in e-learning. So uh, you, you you have to understood you know the, that particular difference between e-learning and this OER. So uh, but uh, you know the main task of preparing this video from my viewpoint is to you know enlighten basically my you know uh, all my beloved viewers uh how to get maximum opportunities to gain access all those in you know, open education resources through different sorts of available repositories so there are different sorts of open you know their oer repositories are available and you see also uh, you know shared different sorts of links uh, of this you know different sorts of you know uh, online learning materials which are available in different for example this in flip net you know and different sorts of you know open access mechanisms are there and you just see basically shared uh, 10 specific limbs and i do believe that uh, all my dear viewers have already acquainted already known all those you know available links but apart from that i'd like to highlight some other important oer repositories through which you can access you know more informations as well. Firstly, I'd like to highlight uh, this www.archive.org details educations. This is a internet archive and this library contains hundreds of free courses, video lectures and supplemental materials from universities specifically in the United States and China. Many of these lectures are available. Uh, you can download as well. So these uh, these materials are basically prepared in two particular nation states, United States and China. And through this uh, archive, you can, you know, download all those materials. And you can, you know, prepare your own materials. You can, you know, uh, make notes. You can use uh, it to the optimum level for your own, you know, academic purposes. Then secondly, this www.zoram.ac.uk. This is a free online repository service for teaching and support staff specifically for UK. But you know, uh, this higher education institution, it, it, you can you know, access different important materials of physical science and more specifically in social science. You know, the students of political science also can access, you know, relevant information from this particular link. Then www.lexerfox.com. This is uh, this Lexer Fox is a free service where users can find high quality classes from universities all over the world. The site focuses on lectures from the faculties of specifically uh, uh, this economics, this history, this philosophy, this political science, and also some other you know uh, physical science subjects as well. Then uh, again, uh, this www oli.org.oer this owl this is a mission to research develop and distribute educational resources and opportunities across you know economic political geographic and cultural barriers 
so you can go through uh, this particular uh, repositories and you can access uh, the materials as well then again this www.owli.org portal so this is a kind of this open access portal resource center the name of this portal is open access portal resource center and it basically organizing open education resources within a powerful and efficient learning management system that means you know this lms each and every education institution uh, can go for this lms system system but for that this license is very much important so uh, if uh, you know each and every in the, uh, institution can able to go for lms mechanisms learning management system with the help of that you know they can uh, prepare their own open you know open education resources for the benefits of the students as well you know and hopefully uh, my educations uh, you know my education institution hopefully uh, in in coming days we are in the process of you know opening that particular lms system the owl institutes that is open educational portal that basically offers ready-made courses for public use it using open source software and OER, and uh, it gives more insights, more guidance for the students as, you know, the entire, you know, uh, student fraternity as well. So the students can go for this particular uh, portal and they can able to access uh, the relevant informations of their specific uh, courses. Then again, uh, this particular www.col.org.oer so it's a very important uh, uh, it's a very important link it's basically belonging to common 12th of nation that is coal specifically common 12th of learning coal means it is common 12th of learning so this common 12th of learning that provides a google custom search which will initially return all ocw and oer results from the higher education institutions and OER repositories that have been selected. Once on the result page, you can you know go for it, and uh, uh, through different uh, access, through different you know uh, mechanisms, you can get access the available resources in that particular www.cool.org OER, and this is a portal of this common tilt of learning. So you can uh, go for it. The students can go for it and can able to access the relevant information as well then again uh, this another site that is http hashtag this uh, openlearn.open.ac.uk so this is again it's a uk based open university this open learning website gives free access to open university course materials in the learning space users can find hundreds of free study units it's with a discussion and forum so uh, so all those in you know, academic discussion you get access all those deliveries and you get access if you visit this particular specific uh, website this link then again there's a very important uh, you know uh, link that is www.egyankus.ac.in so it's basically the url of uh, this url for OER repositories for Indira Gandhi National Open University, IGNO. So this IGNO uh, basically offers distance and open education in India and other you know, countries. This IGNO has initiated the establishment of a national digital repository of learning resources, this e -Kyankus. So through this, this e you know, the students, I'm basically targeting my uh, beloved students of political science, but you know, uh, each and every student fraternity can go for this particular site and they can get access to their relevant informations and they get benefit as well. So uh, then again, uh, this another link that is HTTP hashtag, uh, this uh, overwiki.iiep slash unesco.org. This is a URL of OER repositories for UNESCO OER community. This site was originally created by the UNESCO International Institute for Educational Planning as a place where the members of the UNESCO OER community can work together on questions, issues, and documents. The site contains as useful resources 
you know uh, which uh, the students can access and can you know gain meaningful objective through this particular website as well then again coming to uh, this another link that is http open education news .org. it's a open educational news this field of open education is gaining momentum nowadays so uh, with through by visiting this particular link the students can get access to different informations for preparing you know your projects you know um, different work in, in making synopsis of different you know dissertations how to make synopsis of the dissertations and you know other relevant informations as well then uh, again it's uh, coming back to the another important uh, uh, this url that is www.cole.org of the course materials so it's basically this common total learning website this url and this Cole has been involved in the creation of course materials with many of their partners over the years most of the material is freely available for download so students can go for it and can access you know the relevant informations for their own benefit uh, then again uh, this important uh, sources that is http hashtag en.ukversity.org this is also a very important url uh, this is from UK wikiversity so wikiversity is a wikimedia foundation project that basically devoted to learning resources learning projects and research for use in all levels types and styles of education from you know preschool to university including professional training and informal learning they invite students teachers as well and researchers to join them in creating open education resources and collaborative learning communities so these are some uh, you know specific examples of different url link uh, and you all I, I request all the viewers to go through this you know uh, uh, this repositories these links of those oer repositories and they get you know maximum benefit so that they can get maximum benefit of this available online educational resources and it's become more uh, relevant in present day context because we cannot go out we cannot go for this face-to-face -face teaching learning mechanisms so we have to uh, give maximum emphasis on this you know uh, the available resources those are av already available so the more important thing we need to know how to access all those you know already available you know uh, this material these resources that are available in different sites we have to search it you know significantly we have to go for this advanced source you know and so that we can gain uh, the maximum use of uh, this already available you know beneficial documents in different repositories so my uh, through this video my basic intention was to you know uh, give some relevant information to my viewers my students specifically my students so that they can gain access to the maximum informations that are available in this virtual world. So uh, I'd like to uh, conclude my today's discussions, today's lecture on this open educational resources. Hope you all enjoy my video. So do, uh, please uh, like and uh, subscribe my video. And I'll again come with another video in my YouTube channel, Vision Polity. Till then, it's goodbye. Thank you.